No, I don't waste no time Okay guys and welcome back to lesson three of the watch me build a Facebook campaign for Facebook group growth. In the first video I obviously explained everything in terms of the structure, what we're going to be doing during this video series and so on and so forth. In the previous one, so lesson two, uh, we basically built our landing page which looks like this. And then what we're going to be doing in this video is setting up all of the tracking so that the pixel is on every page that we use um, the buttons are being tracked. We can see, you know, the drop-offs at every part of the flow, and so on and so forth. So, as I mentioned, just a quick recap: we are running Facebook ads. Those Facebook ads are basically driving traffic to a landing page. So, ads, landing page. The landing page has a basically a pop-up with a button. So that's why I'll make that a little bit smaller. So the pop-up has got a button. So pop up. Um, and then when people click on that button, they are basically redirected to a Facebook group, which is my agency scaling fast track Facebook group, which is my new Facebook group for basically people that have existing agencies that want to know how to get best results with Facebook ads, how to keep their clients on for longer, how to basically you know uh, scale their agency, be able to charge high ticket and all that good stuff. Um, so if you are an existing agency owner, you have existing clients, which is also one of the questions if you want to join the group. So if you don't have that, then please don't join this group because we have the lifestyle design community, which is probably a much more interesting group for you, you know, for those of you that are just starting out. But if you are a existing agency owner with existing clients, then feel free to check out this group, you will get a free ebook as well as a free mini course on, on agency scaling, Facebook ads, and so on and so forth. Um, so we are driving traffic to this Facebook group. Um, this whole video series is for educational purposes only. We are driving traffic to this Facebook group, but I'm basically just showing you guys what else we could do. So for this um, video series, we are promoting the playbook and we are running ads with the playbook to you know the, the Facebook group. So if you Join the Facebook group, you receive the playbook, which is so you know that's the case in real life as well, but also in this example. So, add landing page. The landing page says, Hey, join the group, you'll receive the playbook. If they click on the opt in button, the pop up appears, and then they can join the group and then they'll receive the playbook. Okay, so add to landing page. How do we track that? How do we track the amount of people that click on our ad to see the landing page? Well, a metric that we use for that is called the outbound click-through rate. Why do we use that metric and not just a regular cost per click? I'm having an absolute nightmare of typing this out. Is this the way to, ah, there we go. Outbound click-through rate. That is so much easier and so much more organized. Let me just erase whatever that was supposed to be. Uh, there we go. So the outbound click-through rate is what we use to measure the percentage of people that is actually clicking through from our ads to our landing page. The reason why we don't use cost per click and click through rate and link click through rate, etc., is because all of those clicks are basically just added onto one big pile. Okay, if you have a link in your ads that or you know, or they click on the read more or they click on the comments and so on and so forth, that will all be just accumulated in the cost per click and the click through rate. So what we want to do is only use the outbound click through rate because that only tracks the amount of clicks that send people outbound off of Facebook onto a destination URL, which in this case is our landing page. So what we want to do is we want to try and get this to 1.5% or higher. Why? Because that means that for every 100 people that see our ads, which is a targeted audience, you know, because we are targeting the right people and Facebook is optimizing for the right people um, and we are optimizing for lead, we want that to be 1.5% or higher. So that means that for every 100 people that see our ads, at least one person is clicking through. Now, this metric is very easily achievable, of course, if you go with a traffic campaign or optimize for landing page views, etc. That is not what we're going to be doing because we are optimizing for leads. So a conversion campaign 
optimized for leads. We will be getting into that in a future video, of course, um, in video, what did I say? I think it was video four. Um, so in video four, we will explain how to set that campaign up. But what we wanna do is we want everyone that clicks on that button, the, the opt-in button, we want everyone that clicks on that to fire as a lead. So that Facebook knows, okay, I'm optimizing for lead. If someone clicks on that button, you know, that person becomes a lead. And then we have this, um, basically this positive feedback loop. And if Facebook knows, okay, I need to find more people that are going to click on that button. Um, and then obviously, you know, more people become a lead and that is how we optimize for it. So lead on the button. And then for the landing page, we wanna use view content, okay? So then we can see how many people are clicking through so let's say 100 people click through um out of those 100 people let's say only 50 percent view content then we know okay this landing page is very slow we are losing a lot of traffic in that loading area or loading phase um or people are opting out of tracking ad blockers etc of course that is also the case but um then we know okay we need to sort something on this landing page out um let's say out of the 100 people that click through 90 people or 95 uh, people actually view the content, and we know, okay, our landing page is fine. And then we can check, out of those 95 people, only 10 people actually clicked on that opt-in button. Then we know there's something on that landing page that is not getting people interested enough to click on that button. And that's how we basically you know, manage and track every step of the way, okay? So outbound click for rate for the ads, view content on the landing page, and then lead on the button. For this, we need the Facebook pixel, which I'll get up right now. Just quickly go to the ads manager, events manager. I'll just quickly get up the pixel. Okay, and for privacy reasons, obviously I can't actually show that part of me getting the pixel. Uh, but we now have our pixel. So in our ClickFunnels funnel, we go to settings on the top. And then in this head tracking code here, I'll just pull it down. That's where we paste our base pixel. In this case, we've only got the one funnel step, so we could have also just done it in the funnel itself. But if you have a funnel with multiple steps, then this is where you go. Settings and then head track and code. We just paste that pixel code here. And then most importantly, save and update settings. The amount of times, guys, that I've forgotten to save and update the settings. And then I'll just you know click away and then realize that um, the pixel didn't actually save. So we now have our Facebook pixel codes in the base code is on our funnel. So this part is tracking. So we'll basically track page views on every step of the funnel. But now we don't just wanna track generic page views, we also wanna track leads and like I said, view content because we want, to, we want anyone that lands on this specific page to be fired as a view content. So we'll be doing that just now. There's two ways of doing it. Number one, is doing it with the event setup tool, which we will not be doing in this video uh, because I'm quite old school when it comes to this. I like to use the old school pixel events. Okay, so. I already bookmarked this page. Um, if you just Google a pixel events or hard code pixel events, you'll get something like this, or just go to getshogun.com, get I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and like I said, we'll basically just hard code these events into our funnel, just to make sure that um, you know it is there because the event setup tool has been quite buggy lately. Um, so this is the one we want, view content, and then we also want lead. So let me get that one up. There we go, lead as well. So we'll start with view content. There we go. And what we'll do is uh, view content will hard code, like the old school way. And then I'll show you guys with the event setup tool, how to do leads so that way. We've got both sides of the spectrum. Um, so view content, we'll copy that. So Facebook queue, track view content, go to marketing uh, or click funnels, Go to steps, edit page. Okay, so the base pixel is already on this page. And now what we wanna do is go to tracking code. And then we wanna paste this piece of code here. And then to make sure that ClickFunnels recognizes it, we'll basically open the script. So script open, there we go. 
and then we need to close the script as well so script close there we go so view content is on this page so every time someone lands on this page the view content event will fire then the next thing we need is the event setup tool for the button so from the pixel open event setup tool so save this again exit out of this page open up this link open event setup tool go to website url open the website the only buggy thing that will happen now is because we've added the button to the pop-up it might be a bit of an issue so we will need to play around with this a little bit but i'll show you guys what i mean just uh, in a second just wait for this to load there we go so track a button or track a url in this case we want to track a button click on this here track a new button and like i said it's only shown us the button behind the pop-up so we will need to do this a few times until it actually registers this join now button we will need to play around with it a little bit And there we go, finally, after a few minutes of playing around, it's finally tracked this button. So if you click on join to get your free copy, select the event, lead, don't include value, confirm. So if someone clicks on this button, that will fire as a lead, okay? And people can only click on this button, obviously, if they felt the information. Um, so that is now set up. So we've got the base pixel on our funnel. On the landing page, we've got view content, the old school way, and then the button is tracked with a button click tracker, and that basically gets the lead event to fire, okay? So from a tracking perspective, we are now done, okay? So finish setup, finish. Um, yes, it was very helpful. Don't ask me again. Submit, okay? So now this is done. In the next video, we will be setting up the whole campaign. So I'll show you guys how to select the conversion event, optimize for that button click. Um, I'll show you guys like the audiences and so on and so forth, which um, will be quite surprising for a few of you guys, how I do that and my approach to that and my mindset and etc. cetera um, with that. And then in the last video, we'll set up the ads and we'll go through our whole um, strategy from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.